guys so I know a lot of you guys really wanted to know like a complete thorough total list of everything I think you should bring to your dorm this fall and so I went ahead and made like a giant list on my phone of everything I think you guys need and I'm going to go through it with you guys and show you all the different needs you're gonna have I'll have like different sections like um, like school supplies toiletries like stuff like that so um, I think I'm gonna link the sections in the down bar below so if you just want to skip to a certain section of stuff you need you can go ahead and look at the links below and you can go ahead and skip to that part so you don't have to watch this entire video because I know it's going to be kind of long. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be posting the list of everything that I think you guys should bring in the down bar below. And it's kind of a long list, but I feel like everything on it is necessary. And at the end of the video, I'll have like a section of things that are like extras, which is not like necessities, but they're things that I personally like bought while I was there and it made my life a lot easier. The first section is bedding and you're going to need a twin XL sheet set and pillowcases and stuff. And make sure you get the size twin XL because any other size, I'm pretty sure at most dorms won't fit the bed. So don't get like a twin size because it won't fit it lengthwise. So you need a twin XL and you can find those basically at, like Target, Anna's Linens. That's where I got mine. But yeah, they're pretty inexpensive, and yeah, um, next on the list, I would say, bring a comfy pillow. I would personally invest in a memory foam pillow. I have mine somewhere. Okay, so here's the pillow I used all year to sleep on, and it's like a super soft memory foam pillow, and I recommend in investing at, in at least one, like, really soft pillow, because, like, sleep is really important, and you want to make sure you get a good night's sleep and all that. So I think you should invest in a pretty good pillow. They're pretty cheap. I think I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond or something for like $12. This I don't think is that necessary, but a lot of people like get it and stuff. So I guess if you're really high maintenance or you're used to like a really soft like memory foam bed back at home, then I would get a mattress pad, which is like the little eggshell little thing you put on your mattress to make it a little bit softer. But personally, I never bought one because I'm not that like high maintenance and stuff and I didn't really mind sleeping on the bed that wasn't like as soft as my one at home and personally I didn't have any problem no back problem I slept like an angel every night you know it was really soft and so I don't really think it's that necessary especially if you're going to UCLA because the mattresses are pretty soft not gonna lie one thing is I would bring an extra set of sheets and pillowcases because like there will be times in your life when you're gonna realize like oh my god I need to wash my sheets and at those times that you need to like wash your seat sheets or you realize like they need to be washed it's probably not the most convenient time for you to do laundry so what I would do is get like an extra pair so you can just switch them out like say if it's like a really busy time it's finals and you realize your sheets are disgusting so you can just have that extra pair to just switch them out instead of like doing your laundry and having to wait and stuff so yeah so now on to stuff for the room so um the first thing that I highly highly recommend is adhesive command hooks and strips they're like these little hooks I'm pretty sure there's like commercials and stuff for them for the command hooks I would get like a there's like different sizes there's like big ones and then there's little ones I would get like three packs of each if you're planning on like decorating your room and making it pretty homey and stuff because I definitely went through like honestly like four or five packs of stuff just hanging up things in my room and stuff so you don't like damage the walls and you're not like putting holes in the walls with the nails or anything because you know that's not allowed so along with that I would buy like painters tape because like you can like tape stuff onto the wall without ruining the paint and getting charged for it at the end of the year so yeah make sure you buy like paint friendly tape if you're gonna tape things to the wall this next thing is something that I highly recommend and it is a it is a shoe organizer and basically you don't have to put shoes in it. I didn't really use it for shoes that much. I used shoes for like four of them. And the rest I put like sweaters and like jeans and stuff. So my closet was super small and I didn't have that much shirts like that, that were like that bulky because I don't really wear like big bulky sweatshirts and stuff. So I had a lot of room. So this fit in there and I was able to put like jeans and like a bunch of different stuff. And yeah, so I recommend getting this. It's not good for just shoes. It's good for like lots of different storage needs. The next thing I recommend is like a desk lamp with little organizer pockets like this. I just got this one at like Target and it's nice and bright and stuff. The only thing I don't like about this desk lamp is the light like reflects pink and I don't like a pink light. I like like a white light when I'm doing work and stuff. So yeah, that kind of sucked about this lamp. But um, yeah, get like a lamp like this with like little organizers. These come in handy when organizing like all your desk needs and stuff. And mine had like a little charger hole right here, which is good because you're going to need lots of um, places to like plug stuff in. You're going to realize that very soon. So yeah, um, and make sure, don't forget to get a light bulb if it doesn't come with one because like that's important. Um, the next thing is a full length mirror. I forgot to buy one at first, so me and my roommates ended up going down to Target and getting a full length mirror to hang up in my room and stuff. 
And I would get a full length mirror even if you think that your dorm is going to come with one because chances are it might not and then you're going to be stuck looking in like a bathroom mirror that's short and you can't even see your whole outfit and you can't see if your shoes match and that's just not a good thing. So um, yeah. So buy a full length mirror. I recommend that. Um, next thing is hangers and bring a lot of hangers because I have a feeling you might run out like bring extra hangers is what basically I'm trying to say because I brought just enough hangers pretty much just for all my clothes but I didn't really bring that many extra hangers because I didn't realize how many new shirts and stuff I would be getting in college so bring extra hangers. Next is push pins which are great for like your bulletin board needs. So I used a lot of push pins. I did something bad. I put push pins in my wall when I was hanging up a lot of stuff. I know that's horrible, but like, you know, oh well. I filled the holes after. That's all that matters. And so yeah, buy push pins because you're going to need them. Next thing is a trash can, which is self-explanatory, but don't forget trash bags because I didn't remember to buy trash bags and then I was stuck using like these giant trash bags for like my little tiny trash can. So buy like the appropriate size trash bags. Next is laundry. And the first thing on my list is laundry soap, and I recommend like a liquid soap over the Tide pods. I know they advertise the pods a lot to college students and stuff, but I use the pods personally. I don't know if I was doing it wrong or what, but every time I would wash my clothes, sometimes like it wouldn't dissolve entirely and I would get like a nasty blue residue left on my clothes and I had to wash it twice, which not only cost me money, but it was really annoying because like I didn't know it was stained, so I would like... Get, pull a shirt to wear that day and then have a nasty tide stain on it so yeah um next thing is bleach fabric softener fabric sheath and then a laundry bag i would say bring a laundry bag and not a laundry basket only because that basket is like so bulky and it takes up so much room and stuff and i think a bag is just so much more convenient because you can like it, it could be as small as you really want it to be, you know, because a basket, even if it's not filled all the way, it's still going to take up the same space. But a laundry bag is going to be, like, take up less space and stuff, depending on how much clothes you have in it, of course. Um, the next thing on my list is a lint roller, and I recommend this because you might not think you're going to need a lint roller, but I think you might, depending on, like, maybe your blanket shed or something. I personally had a throw blanket that was ridiculously comfortable, but it shed so much that I would have, like, red lint all over my clothes, and I had to borrow my roommate's lint roller so much. Sorry, Michelle. I literally borrowed her lint roller so much, and I'm sorry, but like I ended up getting my own at the end of the year. But it sucked, and it didn't even take off the lint. So yeah, get a lint roller. Um, next thing for laundry is I would bring at least twenty dollars worth of quarters, depending on like where you're going to school and stuff. Because like, okay, so bringing like that much quarters may seem ridiculous, but then again, when you think about like how much you're going to be doing laundry and stuff, it actually makes sense. And then like at my school personally, when I would go do laundry and go and get quarters and stuff, they only let me get three dollars worth of quarters, which was really annoying because that was only enough for like one load of laundry the next section is food and I was gonna do like an entire like healthy snacks food to do and like food to make in your dorm and stuff but I decided that if you guys want to see a video on like food to eat and like what I personally ate and stuff and so I didn't gain like the freshman 15 and all that um, I decided that it would be an entirely separate video if you guys were interested in seeing something like that let me know because I don't want to bore you with like an entire 10 minute spiel about food if you don't care um, the next section is kitchen supplies, and these are important. You might not think you're going to need kitchen supplies if, even if you have like a meal plan and stuff, but chances are you're going to be sometimes in your room and you're going to be tired and it's going to be 3 a.m. and you're going to need to make something in your room because all the like dining halls and stuff are closed. So yeah, here's a list of stuff you should bring. So the first thing I would say is like chip clips like this. The next thing is like a small dish towel like this. I brought like five of them, which... I feel like was a good amount. So bring dish towels because not only can they be used to like dry stuff, but they could be used also to like dry your face, like you can use them for multi-purposes. Or like say you have like a little stain, you could like clean it up and I don't know, like like you spill something, like you can clean it up with your little rag. So yeah, bring dish towels. Um, next thing on my list is bring like coffee mugs, like these, these are just like two of the ones I have. Um, I would say bring like three if you're planning on like drinking tea or coffee a lot or something and not only can they be used for like tea and like drinking needs and stuff but they could be used for like cereal like you know like if you want to make some cereal in the morning and you don't want to get a bowl then your little mugs can be perfect for that I know you may think that that's, that that's like ridiculous and why not just buy a bowl but like I don't know it's pretty convenient that's, that's all I'm saying next thing is paper plates and disposable cups definitely bring those you're gonna end up using probably paper plates more than the disposable cups but yeah bring plates 
Um, dish soap for washing your dishes. Um, this one's important. Hand soap. I recommend you stock up on hand soap because, okay, like, you might not think you're going to go through a lot of hand soap because you're like, oh, I don't wash my hands that much, but, like, guess what? You're going to go through a lot of hand soap. I promise that because, like, so my roommates and I would go through, like, a bottle of hand soap a month, like, maybe even more than that, and we would run out so often we didn't even, like, realize, like, where it was all going and stuff. So then, like, we would have to go run down to Target and go get hand soap and stuff, which was really annoying and it was, like, inconvenient. So I would recommend stock up on hand soap. Okay, next thing is a microwave and a mini fridge. I recommend buying your own microwave and mini fridge. Maybe like talking to your roommates about splitting the cost and stuff for buying that. Um, only because I feel like it's a better deal. Like I know you could rent the microwave and mini fridge, but then again, like if you're gonna be living in the dorms for like three years or whatever, that's like a pretty long time, and I think it's a good investment to just buy the microwave and mini fridge instead of renting them. I feel like it's cheaper over time if you do that. And plus, you'll have them. Like, say if you have a little sibling or something, you can, like, pass them down when they go to college and stuff. So, yeah, I would recommend buying them. Um, next thing is paper towels. So, next on my list is a Brita reusable water bottle, and it has a filter in it. I'll show you. It has a filter like so, and it lasts about three months, and you could just... Fill it up with, like, any water you find anywhere. Of course, like, you're not going to, like, scoop water from puddles, but, like, you know. So, it was, like, $14 at Target, and I would buy it before you go to school and go to Target because, like, I have a feeling they probably will sell out because a lot of kids I know buy these right when they get to school. If not, I would get, like, a pitcher. They have, like, Brita pitchers that are, like, filtered and stuff, and you can keep in, like, your mini fridge, so I would get that if you don't want to do the water bottle. But I would also recommend the water bottle because you can use it, like, when you're walking to class and stuff. Um, next is plastic snack baggies. Sponges for dishes, plastic spoons and forks. I didn't really use the knives. I don't really know what people would use that for besides, like, cream cheese for bagels. But, yeah. Oh, and also just cheese in general. Um, okay, next is bathroom stuff. I would bring an air freshener because you want your bathroom to smell nice and pretty. I would bring, like, a bath poof or a loofah. Obviously, like, you know, you, you should, like, all the basic shower stuff. I would bring towels. Um, I would bring, like, three towels instead of... I made the mistake of bringing, like, eight towels, and it took up literally, like, an entire drawer, which I could have used for, like, lots of other stuff. So bring towels, but don't bring too many because I guarantee, like, you're not going to be going through that many towels. Next, I would say bring, like, a disinfectant spray, like this one, for instance. Um, I used, I brought a lot of cleaning supplies, which I do not regret at all. This is important because you can clean, like, your desk, doorknobs, stuff, because people are going to be getting sick, like, they're moving different environments and stuff, so bring, like, some sort of sanitizing spray for all your, like, sanitizing needs. And um, next is a bath mat. Bring a bath mat. I did not bring one, thinking that there would be one, but guess what? There wasn't, so I would buy one or talk to your roommates about who's going to buy one, you know. Um, next thing is a shower caddy, and even if you have your own bathroom like I did, I recommend bringing the shower caddy because it helps you, like, organize your stuff and keep it all in, like, a compact little area area instead of having your stuff just thrown everywhere so definitely bring a shower caddy um toiletries i will just read off this list number one is body wash conditioner and shampoo for conditioner and shampoo i would buy the biggest bottles that they sell because like you don't want to be going to target and buying new shampoo and conditioner so yeah buy big bottles of shampoo and conditioner um deodorant hairspray chapstick lotion bring hand and body lotion because you know you don't want them ashy hands that's nasty um, makeup, if you wear makeup, but, um, if you're gonna bring makeup, bring, like, storage containers and stuff to put it away, like, nice and organized. You don't want your makeup, like, thrown everywhere on the bathroom counter, because your roommates probably won't like that. Um, mouthwash, moisturizer, shave gel, sunscreen, toothpaste, a blow dryer, bobby pins, cotton balls and swabs, floss, your hair heat tools, hair ties, a brush, a nail clipper and file, razors sunglasses because like you don't want to be damaging your eyes like sunglasses are not just to look cool and stuff when you're walking it also like helps protect your eyes from the uv rays and stuff so bring some sunglasses feminine products if you're a girl um tissues i definitely recommend bringing tissues i didn't think i would get sick but i got sick like one or two times so bring tissues um bring a toothbrush and a holder tweezers large bottle of hand sanitizer definitely because you don't want to be getting sick and getting your dirty germs everywhere if you're sick. Another thing I think you guys should bring is Emergency. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. You don't need to buy the exact brand, Emergency. They have like a Target knockoff brand for like a few bucks cheaper, which is like just as good. But buy Emergency because like you could stay healthy and stuff and it's like when people are sick, you don't want to be getting sick. You don't want to be sick because it's going to be like throwing off your games. So buy some Emergency. Um, face wash. Yes. Okay. That's it for like toiletries clothes okay don't overpack on clothes this is something that you guys need to understand and you need to 
put it in your head, don't overpack on clothes because I overpacked so much on clothes, I can't even explain to you how much I overpacked. Okay, you see this giant duffel bag behind me that's like huge and really heavy and giant? This duffel bag is literally clothes that I brought home. I didn't, I haven't even emptied it. This is clothes I brought home. This much clothes I brought home. So this is real, real stuff, people. I overpacked so hard I brought like two duffel, giant duffel bags like this size home of clothes. And it's all clothes I never wear, clearly, which is why it's still in this bag. I would pack seasonally if you're going home, if you're planning on going home for like Christmas and stuff. Like, don't be bringing like sweaters and stuff during like the summer season. Like, I don't know, just... Just be smart about what you're packing. Pack only things you're going to wear and stuff. Don't be packing like a, like a million and one dresses. Like you're not going to end up wearing all those, okay? So I made a list of things, clothing items I would recommend bringing. Like these are highlighted items that I would definitely bring when it comes to clothes. Number one is some sort of athletic or walking shoe. You'll thank me later. Um, bring at least one pair of like dress up or interview type clothes because you never know what kind of situations or what kind of opportunities you're going to be in. So definitely bring one nice pair of like really nice clothes or st and stuff like that. Um, bring flip flops for sure if you're going to school in California. If you're going to school in like Wisconsin, I don't know about flip flops. That's up for you to decide. Um, if you're a girl, I would bring lots of leggings. I know, maybe you're not into leggings, I don't know, but I'm personally into leggings and I think a lot of college campus girls are into leggings and you will find that out quickly so I would bring like four pairs of leggings I think that's a good amount I have like 12 pairs of leggings honestly because I like live in leggings I'm even wearing them right now so yeah bring leggings um, I would bring lots of PJ pants and lounge clothes because like I realized the majority of the time I was never dressed up I was like in like pajama type lounge clothes because like I don't know like the times I wasn't in class I wanted to be in comfortable clothes when I was studying and stuff so bring clothes that are comfortable to study in I would bring an umbrella or at least a sweatshirt with like a hood. This one has a hood. Somewhere. I don't know where the hood is. It's right here. So yeah, bring an umbrella or a sweatshirt with a hood because even if you're going to school in California and stuff, there's like a few days where it like pours down rain and you don't want to be that girl in like shorts and a tank top with no umbrella and pouring down rain. And also when it comes to rain, don't bring, uh, or make sure you bring at least one pair of closed-toed shoes. Don't be that girl in a storm wearing flip-flops. Just don't be that girl. Don't bring too many, like, comfy t-shirts. I know I said bring lounge clothes, but I emphasize less t-shirts, more like sweats and stuff. Because, like, you're going to be getting so many free t-shirts. I literally have a stack right here. This is just, like, n like a half of the free t-shirts that I got while I was at school. So, that's why I don't recommend bringing that many shirts and bringing extra hangers because you're going to get tons of free shirts, which is awesome. For packing your clothes and for bringing clothes, I recommend packing with like a duffel bag instead of a suitcase because the suitcase is like huge and takes up tons of space and maybe you're not going to have that underbed storage. I know I didn't. So, I would bring like a duffel bag that you could like fold up and compact and put it just wherever it fits and stuff because you don't want that suitcase being bulky and taking up just so much space. Um, next is technology. So, bring a camera. A charger I would definitely recommend bringing a camera because it's your freshman year you want to like have those memories and stuff so bring a camera um this next one is important listen guys bring extension cords bring multiple extension cords bring extension cords not just with the two prong bring like the three prong extension cords because okay so I brought like lots of extension cords knowing that I have like tons of stuff to plug in and I didn't realize that like they were two prong and so I wanted to use my laptop in my bed which didn't have an outlet next to it sadly so I would like I wired this all the way up to my bed and stuff and I got it ready and then I was like ready to plug my laptop in and then jokes on me because it only has two prongs so yeah bring a three prong one because your laptop probably is a three prong charger so bring lots of extension cords because you're gonna have tons of stuff to plug in and there's like really far outlets sometimes depending on your dorm so yeah keep that in mind a flash drive bring a flash drive because like just in case you're doing like a presentation or something and you're like your laptop malfunctions, bring a flash drive so at least you have like a copy of your project or whatever. Um, bring headphones for sure because if you're like watching lectures or something at night or watching YouTube videos, you don't want to disturb your roommates because that's not cool. So bring headphones. Um, bring your phone obviously, you're going to need that. Um, laptop in case, self-explanatory. 
Um, I would recommend buying the Microsoft Office bundle. I know it's like, I think it's like $200, maybe less, maybe $100. But definitely buy the Microsoft bundle because you're going to end up needing all those programs and stuff. So yeah. Buy a printer and ink and paper. I highly, highly recommend owning a printer. I know like oh, they advertise a lot like free printing at colleges and stuff. But I don't think that that free printing is sufficient enough. Like it costs money over time to print and stuff and I think it's just cheaper to just print in your room and it's less stressful and you don't have to walk anywhere. The next section is documents and the first thing I recommend bring bringing is like an accordion folder like so. This is my accordion folder that I used all year and I recommend bringing one of these because they it like helps you save a lot of space first of all like putting all your documents in like a compact area and what I did for like all my classes is I don't know if you guys can see it probably not but I made like sections for every single class during the year so then like when I want to look back at like previous classes and stuff or like previous materials or course materials I have it all in like a little compact organized thing and also you can use it for like your important documents like I'll recommend the ones you should bring so I would bring like a copy of your birth certificate your social um, your license or ID debit card health and insurance cards if you're not buying insurance with the school and your student ID. So any like important documents and stuff you can put in your little accordion folder and it'll be nice and safe and secure. The next section is school supplies, which is the bestest. Who doesn't like new school supplies? I love it. So the first thing you're going to need is a backpack. This is mine that I used um, all throughout the year. It was very sufficient. It held like all my stuff and it never really like budged or and it's pretty good quality. It's like a faux leather backpack. I got it Forever 21. For your backpack, it doesn't matter what kind you bring as long as it does the job. No one cares what kind of backpack you have. This isn't high school anymore. So yeah. I would bring like one big binder or an accordion folder like that one for all your classes because I don't think it's necessary to bring like a binder or something for every class because you're not going to be turning it in like you would like in high school and stuff. So I would just bring one for like all your classes. Next is a calculator. Um, I personally didn't need a graphing calculator at all, and plus calculators aren't even allowed in most classes, so, except like chemistry. If you're taking chemistry, then you're going to need a calculator, like a scientific one, not like a graphing one and stuff. Um, an eye clicker. I don't know if you guys are familiar with an eye clicker. It's just like this little remote, and it's used for like um, answering questions in class and stuff, and I would recommend buying one even if you don't think you're going to need one yet because like... Maybe, like, when you get to class, you're going to realize, like, your teacher recommends that you need an eye clicker for this class or something like that. And I've heard, like, over time you're going to end up buying one because you're going to need it for, like, an upper division course or something. So I would buy one so you don't have to, like, rush order one to school and stuff. So I would buy some desk organizers like this. These are, like, I have, like, six of these in my drawers. And I use them to organize, like, different types of stuff school supplies and stuff so definitely buy those because your drawer is just going to be like an empty drawer it's not going to have like any compartments to put stuff so if you want to be organized and not just have like stuff thrown all over your desk buy some organizers for your drawer envelopes and stamps folders like one for each class is what i would recommend is a pretty good thing i did that and it was a pretty good system i stayed pretty organized glue sticks you might not think you're going to need them because you're in college but they do come in handy sometimes highlighters a hole puncher index cards a composition notebook notebooks and notebook paper i would get probably like a five star notebook I, they have like the three or four or five subject ones i would get one of those and use it like for all your classes that's what i did because you don't have to turn in your notebook anymore paper clips get those pencils mechanical and number two pencils a sharpener pens and blue black and red uh, a planner i highly 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 recommend buying yourself a planner even if the school gives you a planner, I would buy yourself one because, like, the school planner is really small. So, if you want, like, somewhere to write down, like, everything you want to do and you're going to stay super organized, then I recommend getting a planner. Um, next is post-its in various colors. So you could like, mark pages and stuff. A ruler, scissors, a stapler, and staples. Where's my little stapler? My little stapler. So cute. Buy tape. I highly recommend it because like certain things are going to rip. Maybe like a textbook page or something is going to rip. Maybe a page in your notebook is ripping out and you're going to need to tape it back in. So yeah, buy tape. Also, the last thing for school supplies is textbooks. And I don't recommend buying them through the school. I recommend renting them. And if you guys want some really cheap links for renting textbooks, I will put them in the down bar below. And I'll give you the websites that I usually use and stuff for getting like cheap discounted books for like less than half the cost. My last category of necessities is medical. 
And the first thing is aloe vera lotion for sunburn. Wipes, like baby wipes for like, I recommend getting a little first aid kit with like band-aids and neosporin and stuff. I highly recommend that because you might not think you're going to use it, but then like one night you'll be doing homework and you'll get a really nasty paper cut and you're going to need some neosporin to band-aid. And guess what? You're going to be prepared. It's cold and flu medicine because you never know when you're going to get sick. Um, some eye drops. Okay, y'all. So that was all the necessities. And now I'm about to tell you extra stuff that I think you guys should bring but isn't completely unnecessary but I personally brought it myself and it helped out but I don't think like it's for everyone. This is basically that stuff. So the first thing on my list is an ottoman or extra seating storage like a bean bag or something. You're going to realize that there's not really anywhere for your friends to sit. My friends when they would come to my room would literally have nowhere to sit besides like the floor or my ladder. So if you want to like have friends over, you're planning on having like guests, I recommend getting an ottoman. Um, the next thing is photos so you could decorate your room and make it more homey. I know not, not a lot of people are into that, but if you are and you want to make your dorm like a more comfortable space, I would bring some photos to hang up on the wall. Um, the next thing is an iron. An iron and an ironing board I feel like don't really fit in a dorm room. I think uh, they take up a lot of space. But that's up to you. Maybe you're really into like really non-wrinkled clothes. I don't know. But I personally didn't bring an iron and I did something that's like super like questionable. I don't know. I used a straightener. I just heated it up really high and I straightened the wrinkles out of my clothes. I know what you're thinking. Don't judge me. But I was desperate at times when I had interviews and I didn't have an iron. So I straightened my clothes and yeah. So I guess an iron really isn't that necessary. Um, a coffee maker. Depends if you really like coffee, but like usually most meal plans come with like being able to get coffee and stuff, so I don't really recommend it that much. But if you're the type to like drink coffee at weird times or you need it at like 3 a.m. to like study and stuff, then get a coffee maker. Water boiler. I'm going to personally buy one myself this year. My roommate had one last year and I used it like all the time to make tea and stuff, but it's really not that necessary because you could just like heat up water in the microwave. But like a water boiler is just so much quicker. So if you're looking for like a fast way to heat up water for like a cup of noodles or something, then get a water boiler. Next thing is a desk mirror, which is like like one of these bad boys. Um, I would recommend getting a mirror if like I would recommend getting a mirror if like you do your makeup at your desk or something because you don't want to be like taking up the bathroom mirror and stuff if someone has to shower or something because you're doing your makeup in there. So I would get like a mirror so you can get ready at your desk. Next thing is earplugs and an eye mask if you're a light sleeper because it's kind of loud at college and the walls are kind of thin. So if you're not into sleeping with noise, I would get some earplugs. Next thing is a fan if your room doesn't have AC. It depends on your dorm. Mine had AC so I didn't need a fan. Um, next is pepper spray. Not necessary, but I had one just in case you're walking out late and you want to be safe. Next is shower shoes. I had my own bathroom, so I wasn't really concerned about diseases or anything on the floor. So, but if you're living in like a hall with like a bunch of people, then maybe you should consider shower shoes. I feel like it's not a bad idea. Car. Unless you're living off campus, of course. Like if you're living off campus, I could see how a car would be completely necessary. But if you're living on campus, I feel like you're not going to be using it that much. Especially if your college is like close to like the city part or like a city where there's lots of like I'm pretty sure it is most colleges are next to like grocery stores and like Target and stuff so you don't really need a car unless you're like doing an internship or something so yeah I don't really recommend bringing a car what I do recommend is using an app called uber I don't know if you guys are familiar with uber or I'm pretty sure you've heard of it they're gonna advertise it a lot to you during your freshman year I'm sure and what it basically is it's like a taxi app on your phone and it picks you up anywhere and takes you anywhere you want at any time of the day so it's awesome because you can use it like whenever and it's super convenient. Like say you want to go to the beach with your friends and stuff and you guys don't want to like rent a car or something extravagant. So you could just go on Uber and you could call a car and they'll come pick you guys up. And it even gives you the option to like split fares and stuff like between people if you're going with multiple people in one car. And the drivers are all super nice and professional. It's like totally safe. They're all background checked and stuff. And if you guys want, I have a free $30 ride for you guys. Like right away when you sign up, you can use this code. And it gives you a free $30 ride, which gets you like pretty far, $30. Because it's like, it's pretty cheap. It's much cheaper than like a normal taxi or like something like that. If you want the free $30 for Uber, the code you guys would use is N-W-W-E-X. Even if you don't like Uber and you just take your free ride, you never use it again, you know? I don't know. Gotta tie my little bow. So guys, that was everything that I think you guys should bring to college and everything that you could possibly need and stuff. And those are all like the essentials and all the things you should put on your shopping list. So I hoped I helped you guys out figure out what you need and what you don't need when you're coming to college this fall. And like I said, I'll put a list of everything I said in the down bar below if you guys want to check that out. 
So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you think that I forgot anything, make sure you leave it in the comments below so everyone can see, like, what you think that I forgot or what you think that they should bring. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck through this entire video, you are a true champ, because I know this is going to be a really long video, and I'm sorry, but I just wanted to make sure I got everything that you guys can need, and so you're just really prepared, and you're not going to college like me forgetting things, and I'm going to call your mom and be like, I really need this, can you bring this to me? So, yeah. Don't do that. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Like always, my social medias will be linked in the down bar below. I definitely reply to comments and stuff or messages. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys.